I want to play a game. So many people are ungrateful to be alive. So today you'll have to fight for your survival. Because today we're going to be playing Can You Survive Jigsaw? Which is me. Hey, aren't we a bit too late for a Halloween episode? I mean, you can still do a scary theme. What if you actually woke up one day and you had to deal with traps and riddles? You took a nap and you woke up, then suddenly you're trapped in a room with other people with impossible decisions to make, difficult riddles to solve. Uh, well, just stab them all so you're the last one standing and you get out. Easy! Boom! All right. Like, I'm, I'm like the newcomer to this. So it's just uh -huh. like, hi, you know, my name is Maz. Uh, I'm going to be a guest. And then you just lock me up in a room and throw me in there. Is that why I'm here? <laughs> Guys, please. The reason we invited two guests to this little video is because a lot of people are going to die today. And Hosa and Steven Daniel's weren't enough. running out of ideas. Cough, cough. <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought, hey, you know, if it's a jigsaw, people are gonna die, and if people are gonna die, you know, I'd, we need more people to kill, right? Makes sense. Yeah. And who better mm -hmm. to kill than a turtle and a guy with no eyes, right? That's... wow. This is bullying? So... <laughs> 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 this time we have two special guests, Turtle Amigo and the Amatsing. Hey! Hi. Hello. Slowly, one by one, you guys wake up and you open your eyes. You're all sitting in a chair. Your hands are behind your back, chained up. All four of you can look at each other, not knowing really what's going on. And then, a random voice appears. Today we're gonna play a game, and uh, only one of you can really survive in the end. But try your best, work together, and uh, we'll see what happens. Don't tell me what to do, Daniel! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'll kill them all! <laughs> yeah. Honestly, this is the least scary jigsaw I've ever seen. What? Okay, <laughs> what? Like, what do you mean? I'm scary? You're all gonna die. Why aren't you scared? Do what you want, kids. Um, You're free to do whatever. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing, Dad? What do you mean you're gonna die? Okay, fine. Let me make it scarier for you. I'm gonna tell you a riddle, and if you can't answer it, all of you will starve here to death. Oh. So recently, there's been an illegal oil smuggling ring, and suddenly all the oil has gone missing. While an inspector was inspecting his last known location, an officer found a note, and the note said this number. Currently, there are three suspects, Bill, John, and Todd. If none of you get this riddle right, you will all die. So, you know, see? Spooky. Spooky Dan. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, it's, it's, it's Bill, isn't it? It's, oh. it's Bill. Um, <laughs> if you take the numbers and flip it upside down, it says Bill is boss. I'm not sure what the 43 says, but then sells oil. He uh, sells man. oil. Oh, there we go. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> um, what? I should have warned that I do riddles in my, in my spare time. <laughs> you know what I was trying to do? I was trying to copy and paste that number and just post it on Google. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Can you imagine being in this... <laughs> like locked in the room? You just Google. <laughs> yes, yeah. 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 You're on your back. Yeah. <laughs> my gosh. Siri, oh search my up God. this number. <laughs> Siri? Fine, fine. You guys got the question right. Whatever. I didn't expect you to get it wrong anyway. The chains are released and there are two doors in front of you. Now, one door leads to a room with ten midgets with daggers. And the other... <laughs> And the other room leads to a cannibal that has been trained to kill people and has been starving for weeks. Which room do you choose? The first one. Alright, all right, Steven, let's team up. Let's kick them. Let's kick them. But then we are five people. Yeah. Do you think Four. we can take on one person? He's also a trained person, you know? Like, and I'm assuming if he's trained, he's more deadly than having a dagger. Hmm. But wait, no, no, no. That's the thing. That's a whole riddle. Oh my god. Daniel, your riddles are garbage. How long has the cannibal been there? How long say he didn't eat? Uh, for weeks. Oh wow, oh, he's how dead. long can you- How- Yeah, no kidding! Oh my god, Daniel, you're so garbage. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't want to fight anything with knives. Steven- and then, Steven's actually pretty smart. I think we should go yeah, for the cannibal because yeah. he's already dead. And then we can oh. take the cannibal and store him as food later. You know, just carry him as food. Alright. Dang, I'm just, all right. I just want to eat humans, man. What, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? All right, so you guys open the door and Daniel sighs and gets a little bit pissed off at how easy Steven's getting these questions, right? <laughs> easy. Maybe. You guys open the door and you see this giant man just laying there, skinny to the bones, almost dead at this point. Turtle gives him a just a gentle kick and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> 
I guess we can't eat him because like he's too skinny now. Damn it! <laughs> <You're trying to laughs> eat him. Guys, please. I also tase him. I tased him and I tased myself. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Toto enjoys tasing himself. That's oh. one of his. <laughs> what? Okay, we we'll talk about this later. This is a. I need to know a little right, bit more so, about this. What's what's next, Jigsaw Dan? My gosh! All right. You open the next door, and on the floor there's a gun and a knife. Right now, outside in a restaurant, there is a bomb hidden. And if one of you do not die in this room, that bomb will go off in one minute, and dozens and dozens of innocent civilians will die. Oh my god, why'd you kick the guy? We could have brought him god, here! Turn oh, your god. <laughs> Come on, man! Okay, so I volunteer uh, killing Turtle. <laughs> uh, no, don't kill no one. No one dies. What the, but then, a bunch of people will die. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> oh, <my God>. what? <laughs> wow. like he killed the guy in the last room and now he's bloodlust he's like i just want to kill everyone this feels great no no you gotta think though like those people do they care about you no by that same logic you shouldn't care about them so let them die like uh, no but it's like help it's also, me yeah. daniel these guys are evil no no <laughs> Hosa, i agree with you right like because it's like a what numbers game i kill we kill one person versus like dozens of people right we can have fun while we're doing it we can play russian roulette with the gun <laughs> just like <laughs> oh yeah okay. i thought the gun was like uh, it wasn't a revolver like you know because no because no, you can't is it is the gun the revolver like <laughs> A minute passed and none of you guys died, so hundreds of people oh, just died because oh, no. you guys couldn't and... decide who to kill. Okay. Yay! Right, Yay. Yeah, right. I'm I'm celebrating. <laughs> we got about the minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. Well, Could no, have... Hosa. Now we have deniability. We can say we were talking about who to kill, and then they died. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, as long as we can walk out of this, it'll be fine. <laughs> you guys you guys know that the whole point of this stuff is to make people really appreciate living and like like that's the whole point of Jigsaw's philosophy, right? And you guys are just throwing morals out the window. Ethics are just gone <laughs> at this point. Murder. <laughs> Murder. My gosh. Yeah. Oh. I was expecting at least one of you to be dead at this point, but it okay. hasn't happened. Alright. You walk into the next room, but all four of you fall into a separate death trap. Oh crap, I just spilled my water. Oh no, water. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Is this oh. part of the... No, it's not. It's <laughs> not. Yeah, this is part of the... <laughs> Wait, is everything okay, Daniel? Oh, everything's like okay. A... Just a little Ma, bit. This is like a parody. They're trying to be scary and then like... <laughs> he just oh, spills spaghetti on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, alright. Sorry, let me start over. So you walk into the next room, but all four of you fall into a separate death trap. Three of you fall into a small cage that you can't climb out of. And one of you, let's say... Steven. His leg okay. is stuck on a clamp, and Daniel, again, comes out and says, You can either choose to chop off that leg, and all three of your friends will live. But if you don't chop it off, one of them will die randomly. They'll fall into a saw, and they'll get torn to shreds. Uh, one of them? Do I get to choose? No, it's... <laughs> Haha, <laughs> JK, I'm just kidding, don't worry. Random. <laughs> it's, it's random. Good prank, good prank, Steven. <laughs> Wait, my leg's already caught? Mm. Your leg is clamped, and if you don't pull a lever right next to you, one of the friends will fall into a saw and they'll get torn to shreds. But, if you do pull that lever, your leg will be chopped off. Wait a second. Oh, no. what's, the mo what's the point of the game? Is it to be the last one standing? Um, it's, it's to survive. <laughs> I love that he's stumping Jigsaw. He, Jigsaw's like, oh, um. <laughs> what are you gonna um, do? Steven, Steven, we're, trying to, we're gonna try to convince you to cut your leg off. No matter oh. which way you look at it, it's better for you to pull that lever. Okay, I have to, uh, 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 sure. Sever, pull leg, pull the lever. Oh, wow, look at you. Steven. Steven. I know, being selfless. Steven. I hope you edit this part out. <laughs> 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 Alright, Steven pulls the lever and it chops off his legs and Steven starts to bleed out and slowly, yet pretty quickly, he dies from blood lost. Well, oh. dicks! What? Funny because I knew that was going to happen, but I didn't want to yeah. say it. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't want to say it. If say only it. I was there, I would have helped you, Steven. Medical well, training, go! Boom, GG, I'm done. Bye, boys! <laughs> 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 
Welcome Finally, back. someone dies. Hey, turtle. I was going to say that too. I was going to tell yeah. him that's going to happen. Wow, you guys are monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live. In the next room, there on the wall, it says, Oh, ye of little faith, how will you ever be saved? Daniel comes out and gives everybody a cup of iced tea. I say, drink up now, it's, it's good for you. Oh, and um, if you don't drink, I'll kill you all. And uh, if you do drink, one of you will die. Bye! And then I leave the room. Why, uh, didn't we so do Why did we just let him go? <laughs> so he how are you going to kill us? What do you mean? Like, how are you going to kill us all? Are you going to come back? Or are you going to, like, set the room on fire? Or So I think one of the glasses have poison in them and only okay. one of them will have it but he wants us to drink it right so that when one of us would die they okay. all have poison in them you idiots you think they all have poison hey, in Steven. them they all have poison the Steven. point of the game is to kill people and if... then he just said as if you don't Steven. drink it Steven. what shut up you're daniel dead. I'm you're dead here. steven <laughs> i'm a zombie but then the the wall says ye of little faith so like we need to believe that mm -hmm. he's not lying I drop my cup. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna drink it? <laughs> but if you don't drink it, we, we all die, turtle. Good. I'm... Lick it off the floor, turtle. No, dang I'm... it. Lick it. No, no. No. Mom grabs my head like, drink it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Daniel just said one of you will die. That just means like one of you has to drink it. Kill yourselves. I don't care. No, I'm not doing it. All right. Oh, turtle all drinks. Right. Turtle drinks it. He's fine. Turtle drinks it. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh, Turtle's wait. fine. Turtle's fine? He's fine. He's okay, fine. He's fine. okay, hold on. Okay, so Hosa, Hosa, throw your yeah. tea on the ground and we can both drink Turtles. He didn't say which tea we had to drink. Are we gonna drink Turtles one? Right. Oh I'm my drinking god, oh. smart. I'm drinking Congrats. Turtles. Alright, yeah. Moss drinks guess. Turtles. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm licking it off the floor right now. Hosa drinks. <laughs> Hosa licks it as well. <laughs> okay, well then Hosa dies. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. What? Why? The, um, the poison was in the ice. And by the time Hosa licked it, which was the last one, it melted. GG. Oh. Ah. Sorry, oh, Hosa. No, Hosa. Now it's just Maz and Turtle. Right now, at this point in this game, where everything is imaginary and you can make rash decisions without really being punished in real life. Now we're going to take it to the next level. This one is quite simple. You go into the next room and there are two buttons in front of you. If you press one on the right, your head will be chopped off and it'll be the end of that. But if you press the button on your left, you'll be forced to read some fan fiction from your own audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'd... <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, please, Mas, me, like, oh. me having to consider which one I'd rather do shows Mas. how bad the fanfic is. I just, I just realized, I just like remembered out of like the top of my head. Please press the left. All right, so I, I, I want. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna press the one on the left to read fanfic. I'll do it for you, okay? You're a turtle, so I'm assuming that when the axe or whatever comes, you can like turtle your head inside your shell or some, some crap like yeah. that. All right, Moz presses the button on the left. And Turtle, do you press the button on the right or do you want to read some fan fiction as well? I'll press the one on the right. Turtle presses the one on the right. A huge axe swings down and chops off his head. Moz is the last one alive. Daniel says, all yes. right, Moz, you can leave this place, but uh, one thing you got to do for me, you got to keep your promise. <laughs> yes. I don't want to. <laughs> all right, guys, Um, just to let you know, this at this point, it's not longer uh, family friendly. Just uh, walk away. Thanks for watching. Go check out Maz and Turtle. They make crappy videos. <laughs> um, we make animations. Not wrong. Mm. Uh, okay. Also, for our next video, we're going to be doing your challenges. So leave a comment saying something along the lines of, Hey, Daniel, eat a habanero pepper. Or, hey, Steven, describe to us your ideal girlfriend. Or, hey, Hosa, go ride a roller coaster. But, you know, don't suggest anything impossible because then we can't do it, you know? And make sure you write, hey, insert person's name, so that it makes it easier for us to find the comments. Got it? Got it? Okay. All right. Now that that's out of the way, Moss, please, please continue. So the, the title is called <laughs> The Encounter. Moss x James, the odd ones out. All right. Moss looked at himself in the mirror one more time, checking his beard and straightening his glasses. The Australian opened the door and exited the room, heading out and into the hot Australian sun. His heart was puttering in his chest, and he wasn't ready, but he was. He was going to meet James, aka the odd ones out, aka his crush. Suddenly, his eyes glanced a blonde lock on a tall figure. The light touched his face as his eyes turned from the fan he was tending to. 
Mars's caramel face flushed as they locked eyes. He forced himself not to sprint towards his senpai. They finally reached each other, and Mars extended his hand for a handshake. James shook it up and pulled his friend into a hug. James' arms wrapped around Mars, tightly pulling him into his chest, and it was like time slowed for a second as he pulled into the embrace. Mars flushed harder, not realizing that James would be so affectionate with him. Mars, I'm so happy to see you, the boy said. Mars shook his head, trying to clear the creeping thoughts that wandered up his spine and through his body, and then a child cut him off. James, please shine my shirt, the child cried, and Mars lost his senpai's attention. He felt jealousy for the kid for one second. Stupid brat kid stealing my thunder. Okay, Dan, is it is it at this point I take out my katana and stab myself in the chest? Can I do that? Can I do that? Or can I, do I have to keep reading? Like, I chose to live, but it's not worth it anymore. You killed all of yep. us. Yes. You know, you See that? Yourself. <laughs> it's not worth it. I am the scariest jigsaw of all time. I've killed you all. I am scary, and no one can deny it. <laughs> That's the entire reason he killed us all. He just wanted to prove us wrong from yeah. the beginning. Well, if you stuck around till now, hey, good job. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in the video. <laughs> <laughs>